Alvin, I'd like to start by asking you a few questions today, um, just to hear about your experience with control and some of the benefits that you have seen with Envision Quest. So to get started, what sort of estimating or job tracking methods did you have in place before control? Whatever you could put down on a piece of paper and whatever you can type into QuickBooks. It was limited and only as good as what you put down. You, you get back what you put into it, and, and there was a lot of inconsistency, you know, little pieces of paper, post-it notes, estimates in several different places. Since we've gotten control, we have estimates in one place and estimates for signs, estimates for banners, estimates for screen printing, estimates for embroidery, advertising specialties. So it covers all the bases, and it, it, it does it very well. For instance, in screen in the screen printing, which was the biggest one we needed help with, we use the same ink set ink for all of our shirts. So if we type in a particular Wilflex ink, as you're typing in or pushing the button to specify a color, um, it puts the same name on the form. Uh, and as you add colors, it adds to the price. As you change garments, it it adds to the price. You can add shipping, quantity discounts. Um, even we know the distributor we quoted the shirts from, so if they were on sale or uh, whatever the case may be, free shipping. Um, everyone in the office knows what was quoted. So if the order comes back as it turns into a job, they know what we did if, if, if the person who estimated isn't here. And all that information is in one place. It's a, it's a huge, a huge help. Fantastic. So what was it that made you finally look for control, or what encouraged you to switch? Well, we had tried another program. The biggest thing we wanted in our, I don't know what you want to call this, management program, whatever it is, uh, was accounting, payroll, estimating, ordering, everything in one place. The other program we tried had, had mentioned that they were going to have accounting within the program, and it never happened. Even real-time integration with QuickBooks, that didn't happen. So we kind of just fizzled out on it, and it was limited in within the program and how you could put your forms together. Uh, there's, I have not seen any limitations in Sirius yet. Your, your imagination is your is your limit. So now that we have Sirius, we have we have everything we need really. Um, our estimates are all in there. Estimates that get converted to orders are all in there. That transition is smooth and seamless. Um, our artwork is tied to the invoice work order number that is in Sirius. So if you ever need to search for something you did a year ago, you can search a a variety of ways, customer. You can search by a description field of what you call that order. Say it was, um, uh, you know, Joe's Body Shop. You can search for Joe's Body Shop, and it'll take you right to the the order you did last year, and you'll know by that order number where the artwork is at in the computer. Should they want to change their address or who knows what, and that that little workflow applies to signs, banners, advertising specialties, and screen printing. And the other neat thing about it is when you when you sell a, a job, whether it be a sign or a t-shirt or whatever, and, you, and we keep track of where our revenue comes from, whether it's from t-shirts or signs, as you enter that product in, it, that, that is coded in the accounting end of it automatically. And it just, it, it, it's so easy. That's so easy. And then we also have three people working at any one time on the system. So everybody's doing orders. Everybody is doing estimating. And it's all in one place. That's great to hear, Alvin. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your experience. How long have you been using Control now? We're in our second year of using it. And it's a great foundation for growth in our business. And not only that, just the the load off of my mind. 
that when we do a job, it's invoiced within a day because everything is right there. So our, our receivables aren't out 60 days because we can't get the invoice done. That's great. Just everything moves through a whole lot faster, it sounds like. Oh, my gosh. Way <laughs> faster. <laughs> and the other neat thing about it is, is what we didn't have before, you know, we might have 100 jobs at any one time or we might have 50, but at a glance we can see how much the value of those 50 jobs that aren't invoiced yet. You know, we have our receivables, which are jobs that are billed and, and, and done, but we can see that you know, say we have $50,000 of the work that's not invoiced yet. You know, we have an idea what's in process. Awesome. That is awesome. Well, Alvin, I certainly don't want to take too much of your time. Um, thank you for sharing your experience with Control, some of the benefits that you've seen within the system itself. And um, we are certainly glad to hear about the impact that it's making for you. Mm -hmm. I can highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Great, great. So glad to hear it. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Dean, who will take us actually into control and go through a few estimates. Thank you, Kristen. And Alvin, much appreciate it. Thanks for taking a few moments to share the benefits of, of how Sirius is helping you, not only in the estimating, but in, in other functionality as well. I'll take it from here, and we'll run through specifically two estimating projects, both on garment. One will apply a screen print, and the other will apply an embroidery item. What you see here on the screen is the entry screen for capturing the details about the product. And we'll first start out by selecting the type. What is it? Is it a, uh, a short sleeve tee, a long sleeve tee, so on? In this case, we're just going to pick a short sleeve. And then we get into the style. Is this a Fruit of a Loom? Is this a Jersey? Is this a Hanes? Keep in mind these fields are user definable, meaning you're going to add in your categories and your items that you offer. In this case, we're going to pick a Fruit of the Loom. We'll pick the whites. So we have a white color. Over to the right, we're going to select the size. Now this is the size options that come in this particular uh, T. And in this case, we're going to do a quantity of 10 in the medium, 15 in the large, 10 in the extra large, and 5 in the double extra large. One thing that I want to point out is it's very common for a small to extra large when you're purchasing the garment to have the same cost. In this case, we're $1.85 a piece. Once we get into the larger sized items, your double X and triple X, we're calculating the cost for those um, larger sizes, so it goes to 314. Now we only have the garment selected here, but you'll see that it's calculating out the per piece, the cost of each, it's applying a multiplier of 1.5 to this, so we have a total cost of $80.45, and we're going to be selling these pieces at $120. Now next is what will we do to this particular garment? As mentioned previously, we're going to focus on two types. We're going to focus on a screen print and an embroidery. Now, in this example, we're going to say that we're going to apply an embroidery piece to the front and screen print to the back, more so to show the complexity. You may screen print to the front, screen print to the back, only screen print to the back, only apply the embroidery. But in this case, we'll show you how you can embroidery to the front and screen print to the back. So. Here are the types. Now again, we're going to focus on two, but you'll see others listed here as well as direct print, heat transfer, and so on down the list. In this case, we're going to pick embroidery. Once we have this screen selected, we're going to fill in the details, kind of as we did above, specific to the embroidery. You know, and again, what is kind of the, the type, if you will? And this would be, is this a custom image? Is this a stock image that we have that they can pick from out of a book or just general text? In this case, let's just say it's general text. The location is where is it going to be applied. In this case, we're going to say the front pocket as an example, or the front left chest, whichever we want to choose there. And the text could be ABC Company as an example. Then we get into what is the font. We could put in a customer supplied, or we're going to pick the actual font that the customer selected, or just type it in. And the size. In this case, we're going to say it's a one inch. Now what's going to happen, the software is automatically going to calculate the variables that we've added to it, 
So there's 10 letters, so there's going to be a stitch count, and then we're just going to pick the color of the thread. Now this could be a black, it could be a white, it could be a red, blue, whatever color you need to. So we now have the embroidery piece entered in. Now we're going to just add another option, which is going to be your screen print. So from within the screen print option, we're going to say, you know, what is it? It's standard tees. That's what we selected. And then the location, we're going to do the back center. And in this example, we're going to say, hey, it's, uh, it's two colors, or it could be four colors, or many colors. So as we add that in, it's then going to look up our cost and our price for the inks and so forth, and it's going to give us a, a suggested price to sell it for. Now one thing you may have not noticed, but all along it's been adding up a total sell price for you. So you have a unit price of $24.18 and then a total price of $967.35. And really what it's doing is taking the price of the garment, it's taking the price of the screen print, as you see here, and then it's going to take the price of the embroidery for all of these items, and then of course add them all up. And that's how we come up to the $967. Now, just to kind of finish this out, we could click OK down here to the bottom right. And that's really the estimating, and you'll see how it builds out the estimate details. We could assign this to a company, and then, of course, just save it as an estimate in the database. That way you can look it up by the estimate number or the company, or if the customer is wanting to proceed, you can convert that estimate to an order. If you have any additional questions about the screen printing garment product and how it prices and calculates, you know, please give us a call. Again, a couple of the other options that are within the list, uh, other than embroidery and screen printing, is you know, heat transfers, uh, direct to print, sewing, and so on down the list. Thank you.